Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adebola Hadeyela, popularly known as Lizzie J. Omoibadon. I don't know where to start this from. And uh, I just know this is going to be a very long video. I do not know how long it's going to be, but I know that it's going to be long. But I, I, I want you to please bear with me and uh, please ride with me on this long journey of a video of a theme so that you would, you would understand the reason why this video had to be made. So a few months ago, I really cannot put a date, a particular day to this happening. So I just have to say a few months ago. A few months ago, I was terribly sick. I was really sick. I was placed on a lot of antibiotics. I was placed on a lot of um, opioids. Opioids are, you know, um, uh, injections for extreme pains. Yeah. So... Almost day to day, day to day, I, 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 I had to take one antibiotics or one intravenous opioid. It was shy a lot. So apparently, this opi um, opioids and this uh, antibiotics, they have their own effect. So I started reacting to these drugs. I started reacting badly to these drugs. I started having a lot of, you know, skin itch, um, rashes on my body, rashes in my private parts. I could not go to the toilets for days. It didn't mean yo, I don't know how to put this. I, I was having uh, easy hemorrhoids, yeah. Pile. It, it didn't mean your giditimo le joko. It was that bad. I was having rashes everywhere. And another thing. I was having vagina bleeding from these antibiotics and analgesics. I was reacting to it. Imagine when you are trying, when you are using some medications to cure a particular problem and then it's creating another issue to you. That must have been a lot of pains. A whole lot of pains. That's not the problem. So I have personal doctors that I use that most times I do not have to go to the hospital, especially when I'm working or I'm at work or I'm busy on set. You know, I have doctors that they already know about my medical condition and all I have to do is just chat him and say, like, Baja, this is what is up with me again. What should I do? And if it's something that it feels like I need to come and see him at the hospital quickly, he tell me, come to the hospital. And if it's something that it feels like, oh, okay, go and get this. It will, it will, it will treat um, the problem. It would do just that. So I was having vagina bleeding. I was having rashes in my private parts. My 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 DTO, I cannot sit down. I was having pile. I could not go to the toilet. My skin was itching terribly. A lot of problems. I had to chat up my doctor. Like, bro, there is issue. I don't know if it is a reaction to these drugs I'm using. I don't know. But these are the problems. And according to him, he said it could be a reaction to the Opioids, especially that sometimes opioids made it, uh, make it difficult for you to go to the toilet. So he requested that he would need to see how the rashes looks like exactly, especially in my private parts. But then I was too shy to let this uh, doctor <laughs> examine me. And the reason for this shyness is not because I've not opened up to male doctors in the past. No. But because this particular doctor is my friend. Even though he knows about my medical condition, but he's still my friend. So it felt like me, you know, opening my everything to a male friend. That was what it felt like. So I said, I, I told him, you know what? I'll just send you a picture instead. <laughs> Sadiki. I thought I had sense. I thought I was smart. So I made a video with my phone and um, when I made the video, I made a video of, you know, um, the rashes, the pile, uh, made a video of my private parts showing my pile, showing uh, all the rashes I was having. So when I made the video, I was also shy to send him the entire video showing everything. So what I did was I just cropped the parts of the pile and the other things that I want him to see from the video and I sent him, I sent the picture to him. And as soon as I sent it to him, he, um, 
he, he told me what to go and buy and asked me to stop every antibiotic I was using at that moment to see if, you know, anything would change. Now, this is where the story, got the reason for this video. Now, that exact video that I made, I made it using my Snapchat because I feel like I don't use my Snapchat for social media. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't post on Snapchat. I, I only use my Snapchat for, I want to take fine pictures. I want to, that's what I use my Snapchat for. And I use my Snapchat. I can't, I can't even tell why I used my Snapchat then. I just know Snapchat was what I used to take this video. And as soon as I made that video and sent it to my doctor, I deleted it immediately. With immediate effect. Now, in the past few days, someone has been commenting on my page talking about him having my nude you know when he commented on my on one of my posts i i just called it a bluff because i'm like <laughs> my nude way oh yeah post it gave me a tell you because <laughs> i was just really sure that he doesn't have my nudes because where will he get that from except you except when i'm sleeping <laughs> because most of my thing my first soon I don't wear clothes to sleep. I sleep naked. <laughs> oh, you people have pyjamas. I've been mean, nice. me. I don't have it. I sleep naked. So except that he snapped me when I was sleeping during the night or something. That's the only way he could get my notes. So when he, 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 he commented that, I just like, oh, Delili. Until I started seeing him sending me emails or sending emails. He sent it to uh, the email that I put on my Instagram um, Instagram page. Apparently, sometimes last year, one of my email accounts was asked, the one that I put on my Instagram page for business, it was asked. As soon as I saw that the email was asked last year, the only thing that I was bothered about was my Instagram and my Facebook. I just had to change my Instagram uh, email and uh, the email that was on my Facebook just so that my Instagram and Facebook could be secured. I did not think of Snapchat because there was, there's nothing on my Snapchat. There's, there's nothing to see, to be honest. Apparently, this person probably have had access to my Snapchat since he hacked down my email address. But he probably had searched and did not see anything implicating. So he waited, he waited till when he could see something, which was the video that I recorded to my doctor. This is, this is not a video of me fingering myself or touching myself. As a matter of fact, the video had, um, if you use tampon, that was the very first time I'll be using tampon in my life because I was bleeding and I was walking at the same time. So I didn't want something that would be going and be and be very, very I used tampon. In fact, the video has one robo robo uh kinomankwe that or wood that used to come out when you use tampon. The video had it in me. So this person waited after he had asked my email address, waited to you know be able to get something. So that means this person have had access to my Snapchat. Tikpe tikpe. But he was waiting. Or probably didn't see anything there and he waited till he could find something. Thoughts that I deleted as soon as I made. Of course, which I deleted as soon as I made. But of course, this person probably had screen recorded, you know. So, like I was saying, he commented on my page and I did not, like, and the next thing was, he sent me an email. Now, he sent me an email with my own email address that he asked then. That was asked last year. This was how I was, I was able to, you know, add one plus two to make it three. That, oh, okay. Apparently, it's the same person that asked my email address that also is trying to blackmail me. So, this person sent me a message saying that, uh, um, should I post your nude? And he sent me a screenshot just from that video. And the moment he sent that screenshot, I could pick immediately that, oh, this is it. So somebody is trying to use my pain to blackmail me. Like, somebody is trying to... <clears throat> so, 
<clears throat> Somebody is trying to use my pain at my most vulnerable moment to blackmail me. <laughs> hey, so I don't even want to sound um defeated because whoever you are, I'm not the kind of person you can defeat. Though. I'm not the kind of person that me wow okay, go like more me. I'm, I'm not that person. <laughs> so when you send that email and he sent that screenshot, I'm like, ah, what's all this? Then he called me using um a private number. I was like, do you want me to post your nude? And I said yes, post it. Because I know what it was. I know what the video was. Or what the video you want to post is. I know what is in there. This is not a video of me fingering myself. Or a video of me touching myself to send to a man. And I told him to post it. Because you want me to be begging you. Or you want me to, to, to give you money. <laughs> oh, <thank> you, Lord. <laughs> Uncle Skama, if you have money, send to me. I'm going to block you. Over, over, go lower to me. Ask him, yeah, do you want me to post your? I did not even ask him, what do you want? I did not bother to ask him, what do you want? I asked him to post it. Go ahead and post it. So, go ahead and post it. Please do. And he did what? It's, he now called me back the second time I said, and said, go and check your Instagram. I tagged you on um a video. And I went on, the, on, on, on Instagram, Ntoto, and I saw that he tagged me. On a video, exact video, the video I made to my doctor, and I saw it. And then I was able to get some things from his page. I was able to get some things from his page, and it, it, it then deleted the video. And now called me back to say that, okay, before he deleted the video, he called me and said that he's about to send the post to gossip me. I said, send it. Uh, send it to insta blog send it to every blog that you know in this world send it send it please do and then i went back to the page that he posted the video and i could not see the video again he had deleted it and then the next thing that he, he, he wrote on his tiktok was um you are you are trying to play smart I will, I will, on his uh sorry, instagram story was you are trying to play smart so i'll go and post it on tiktok even though from his highlights, I was able to get some things, including his TikTok account, even though he has deleted the highlights now. So, somebody is out there trying to blackmail me, trying to post my video of my most vulnerable moment. Because <laughs> to be honest, I do not even want to come online to see anything. I, I do not want to post anything out here. But my manager insists that I put this out there. So whoever you are, please do your worst. Your worst, go. Do your worst. If there's anything like worst test, do it. Anything greater than worst test, worst test, 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 do it. Post that thing. Toba post the only kure. I am a bad jenny. Post it on that TikTok. You posted it on Instagram. And I've seen it. Post it on TikTok. I want to see it. Post it. Let everybody see it. And I'll, I'll find you. I promise you. See, instead of me to give you one cobble, I will use my last cobble to find you. It's in my fifth one. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? I don't have any money to give black mail out. Instead of giving you money, I will go and use my last hand. Because savings in me. Whatever it is that you are. And if you are a close person, if you are a close person, if you are a close person, because to be honest, my Gmail account being hacked is, is even somehow to me already. Because if you are a close person doing this, I'll find you. I will find you. Hello? 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 Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, hello, how are you doing? Hello? I can hear you. Go straight hello. to the point. I can hear yeah, you. How are you doing? I can uh, hear you. Go straight yeah, to the point. Can, can you hear me very well? Go straight to the point. Can you, can you, can you, yeah, can you hear me? I have your load. Oh, good. How much your load? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yes, yes, I know, okay. I know. Okay. I know. Okay, do you want me to